In this video, I'll review the People's Hub in Windows Phone 7. When you open it, you're taken to your contact list, or you can jump to an individual letter, or search for someone. And when you open up their contact page, it shows you all their info, and you can map their address if they have an address there. It pulls in their Facebook stuff right here. You can comment on something. And it'll pull all the Facebook comments down. And you can write your response right there. And you can flip back to their profile. You can see which accounts are linked. And you can add a new link for someone. You can edit them. Editing is really easy. You can edit Windows Live if you want, etc. Um, let's edit this one here. So you just click Edit. You can change your name, add company, middle name, nickname. You can edit the phone number, you can add phone numbers, you can edit the email address, which actually needs to be changed, and you can see that the keyboard is really nice on the HD7. So save that change. And if you're linked with Windows Live, all your changes will be pushed instantly to the web. You can set custom ringtones for someone. Just go with the default one. You can write in someone's address. And you can add other fields. So we save that. And so from a contact here, you can directly map their address and it'll take you to their address so that you can get directions to their house. And that's the Facebook integration here. It pulls in all your Facebook stuff, comments, pictures, videos, everything, and streams it all in one what's new list and it'll automatically update when you visit it and then you have your recent people list here so you can jump into a person that you recently talked to it'll remember who you recently searched for other things and it's actually pretty accurate at knowing who you want to talk to <laughs> and let's talk about the phone application while we're at it when you open up the phone app, you're taken to your call history here. And if you want to go to your voicemail, you can just click that one to go to your voicemail. You can open up the keypad right there. Dial a number or save the number. Or you can go to your contacts list and it'll open up your contacts. And then go back to your phone. And that is the phone application. It's pretty basic. It's just the usual. If I call my voicemail here, it'll bring down the keypad in case I need to enter anything. If you're talking on the phone and you have it up to your head, it'll turn off the screen, take it away. It'll turn on the screen. The usual, you can turn on speakerphone. Press number. mute them, or that's muting your own speaker, put them on hold, add a different call, take it off a of speaker, and on any HTC phones, if you use the um, application, if you flip it over, it'll turn on the speaker for you, and then when you flip it back over, it'll turn off the speaker. You can multitask while you're on a call, and go visit your email address. 
and then tap to go right back to the call there, tap back there to get out of it, and tap to go back to the call, and end the call. That is the phone. Oh, you can also pin people to your start screen, of course. Like, pin yourself here to the start screen, and it will have quick access to your own Facebook feed. Or you can pin one of your friends to your start screen, and it will pull down their Facebook picture and show what's new, what they recently said on Facebook, etc.